What's up, everyone? I am going to walk through with you, with Jesse, who is an expert at evacuation, in two minutes, in less than two minutes, how to do it properly so you save time on your job, make money for your business or your company, and really get home at the end of the day a lot quicker and doing the job right. Jesse, tell me. So in order to perform a proper evacuation, again, we have our service valve here. This is on your refrigeration system. You have a straighter core right here. Take your valve core remover tool. We need the quarter inch head. In our case, we have two tools in one. Take it out, pull your plunger, and go ahead and attach that to your service valve. Now keep in mind, this is not a refrigeration system, so there will be no pressure here. <laughs> yeah, because that will pop back. Yep, so once we do that, once you twist, you'll notice there is a noticeable click that signals that you've actually grabbed your valve core tool. You'll twist until you feel another click. Once you feel the other click, you know that you've actually grabbed your valve core tool. Now, we'll pull the plunger, Shut this. There's our valve core tool. Now we shut this to make sure we don't get ourselves hurt if this was a pressurized system. Afterwards, keep in mind this is still our system, you're gonna need a micron gauge, you're gonna need a large diameter, non-permeable hose, and a vacuum pump. You would attach your large diameter hose to your pump, the other side would attach to your core tool. Now, your micron gauge would go as far away from the pump as you could, so ideally on the other side of the system. Yep. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, open your valve, turn your pump on. Once your pump starts, watch your micron gauge. Your micron gauge is going to drop your fantastic hand uh, yeah. <laughs> presenter. You want to get down to like 300 microns or 0.3 tor, real low, 250 microns. We're the standard of 500 minimum. Get it deep low, and we only got two minutes, so we're running out of yep. time. So once we hit our evacuation target, you're actually going to go ahead, valve this off, turn your pump off, and you're going to perform a decay test. So it's 15, 30, whatever your preference is, whatever your manufacturer says, yep. and you determine your rise on your micron gauge. If you go above your target, that tells you that you either have a leak or you have some form of a non-condensable or moisture still in the system. The decay test, or decay test is crucial in this process. Yeah. Once you've actually performed all this, you've passed everything, then you can move on to the next step in your I service. I love that. So this is it. If you want to do it right, you do it that way.